In the following demo, we will be covering the image projection features in Sequoia. Image projection allows you to texture points and meshes with color information from photographs you might have captured at the scene that you did the collection, or even potentially using the photography captured by the scanner itself. The first step to be able to use image projection is to align the projections with the 3D geometry. So this is what this demo will cover. Here I have the National Portrait Gallery courtyard, which will serve as our demo data set. We have uh, a pretty nice data set here. It's nice and clean. This mesh has been generated using Sequoia's Hacksaw feature, but it doesn't have any color information. So we'll want to use a a photograph that we have captured from the scene. Now you'll see that the image projection is not aligned correctly. So in order to start the alignment, the first step we need to do is to set the field of view correctly. In this case it's 90 degrees. And then we can start adding pair correspondences to align the image. The first step is to find suitable features inside the image to uh, to use. The, the goal is to find a point that's easily seen inside the image and also easily seen in the 3D view. So here I'm going to use the exit sign uh, to place a marker and I'll also put one over here above the window. Now I need to align these inside the 3D scene. I can do that using the place selected object here option from the right click menu. That will place the marker directly on the geometry where I clicked. Uh, it's a much faster way to place a marker than doing it by hand with the gizmo. Now to do the alignment I need at least three points. Typically I use three when doing demos but it is recommended to use more. Uh, we do support up to eight points. The more points you use the better the resulting alignment will be. So I'll turn on the image projection and you'll see that the uh, alignment's pretty good here. Uh, it's sitting on the scene fairly well, but there's still a problem. The trees are being projected onto the wall of the building. So we can use the occlusion setting. I'll just turn on the mesh occlusion here. And you'll see that now the trees are casting a shadow against the building, uh, and that's preventing the projection from coloring the wall. Now to fill in the shadow areas left by the trees and any other uh, shadows like over here on the left side where there is no information from the projection, we can stack multiple projections. I'll be covering that in the part two video.